there. Okay. This part is a little more difficult to film, uh, mainly because I'm afraid of losing my camera. But what I have here is a pan, and inside the pan, I have um, this pine candy. Um, I have this uh, board that I have some wire attached to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to fill this pan up with hot water. And my favorite product for getting out smells, which is Lysol. Okay, the concentrate. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of that to the water. Um, no candy. I'm going to add a little bit of that to the water. That cleans, disinfects, and it really gets the smell out. Uh, best product out there that I know of. Afterwards, later on, um, when I'm doing the other part, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add fabric softener. I just add the cheap stuff that I can find. This smells really good. You can find it in the dollar store. Um, but people really like the smell of that one. But that's afterwards. But first we're going to brush the yarn. I'd rather do this outside in the summertime than doing it inside. Right now it's winter. I don't have that option. It's really cold out today. Um, but uh, So I do this inside. And it takes a long time. Um, not one of my favorite. Okay, the pain of this is that it didn't record. Yay! So now I have to give you another quick example. Now there's already fur in here that I had inside. Um, okay, the pan of hot water, and then I laid the fur on top. Now here's some of the fur that I had picked through. Um, since it didn't record the first time, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration. Because I can't stand setting up the video camera for this. Um, like I said, I'd risk losing my phone in the water, and I don't want to do that. But you lay the fur on top of the water, okay? It's going to float because it's dog fur that um, from a northern breed, which has oils in it. So it's going to sit like a duck sits on water, okay? So... Um, once I have, you know, a good layer of this in the water, okay, I can press it down a little. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to stir and wring it. If I stir and wring it, I run the risk of, um, creating felt. And I don't want to make felt. You know what felt looks like in the store. You buy it in big blocks and it's really, uh, compacted, uh, fibers, okay. Very hard. Um, so... I let this sit a while uh, once it's all gotten in there. And then what I'm going to do is okay, guys, lifted on. the pan out of water, okay, and tilted it a little to the side so that the water will drain into the pan. And here's where your towel comes in handy because if you have it or if I had it and you know planned ahead before I got my video camera out, I would have uh, had the towel underneath this. To catch anything that comes off the side. There's not a lot hanging over the side. Most of the water is going to drip into the pan. Uh, no candy. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, 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 yes. So anyway, this is going to sit and drain. Um, it's nice and dry in this room. This is where my furnace is. Um, so it does dry a lot quicker than it would, um, you know, if I left it either outside on a humid day or um, you know, out on a cold day. In the summertime, when it's hot and it's directly in the sun, it dries, it dries fairly quick too. But since it's wintertime, this is my only option. Um, so just showing you this part, which is the washing, um, the initial washing of the pan. Next, this is two hours of drying on the rack in my laundry room, which is also my furnace room. Um, I don't have a lot of patience. It's getting late. Um, it's not completely dry, but I wanted to show you uh, what happens. Here are the wet part. Okay, that's still a little wet. Not ready, quite ready to take off. Okay, but up here, did I show you that? Okay. See 
in a wet part right here. Um, here's the dry part. It comes off. You have some beautiful clean fur. This is after rinsing it several times. So this is nice and dry. Um, I could probably continue working with this, but it is getting uh, later and uh, I'm done. Here's a guard here. Remember I said there's going to be guard hairs in there? If you can see that, uh, there it is. I can pull that out at another time. But this is what it's like when it's drying on the rack. This won't go back on now because it's already dry. But this is nice and clean. Smells good. Um, I have not put the the fabric softener on yet. Okay, that I do after the yarn is spun and it's on the knitting nodding. This is just the washing. Like I said, I rinsed it two times. And we're done. So if I left it to dry overnight, this whole tray would be done. In fact, this is a thin layer that I did. Usually I do much thicker amounts. And that'll take about, like I said, overnight to dry.